Hey guys, it's Kugel again with another ROM review and uh, this time I've got a very interesting ROM on the Nexus 5. It's called the Cataclysm ROM for the Nexus 5, so stay tuned for that. So guys, this ROM, uh, it is actually a uh, Android M based ROM, so you can know that this is one of the latest version of this uh, of the ROMs available on the Nexus 5 and it is a really really fast stable ROM, that is something which I want to uh, emphasize on this, this is the latest version of it and this is really really stable. Uh, let's get into the stuff now, first of all what you saw just there is the lock screen which is a new Android M lock screen instead of the call button you have the uh, Google Now stuff there so that is really cool you do have that. In the other stuff you have the uh, new latest uh, Google Now launcher which is also pretty cool. Now. This does have the GApps package inbuilt, so you are not going to have any problems about the GApps stuff in this one, so that is really cool to have, and uh, yeah, I guess that is pretty nice to have. Uh, let's go to the settings menu and say, see what this things offer. In the about phone page, in the about phone page, you can see it is for the Nexus 5. It is on the latest version of uh, Marshmallow, so you will have all this stuff and also play the game, which I'm not going to because it is silly and pretty awesome. Okay, and it also has the Android security patch level uh, of the October. Now, the latest version for the November has not come out for this ROM yet. This is running on the stable version of uh, 28. Uh, October I guess so that is there so pretty cool you can also see the build number is MRA58K so that is the latest version uh, as of now I guess so yeah that's pretty cool now what sets this apart from all the other um, marshmallow based ROMs is the settings it does have a lot of features on it so that is something which is pretty awesome so that is something which is pretty awesome uh, let's get into the stuff now because there are a lot to cover first of all there is a quick setting panel and you might have already seen the quick setting I have actually enabled 10 icons per row which is a uh, which is kind of a uh, useful stuff I mean the, that is just awesome I per personally would like something like a 5 icons per row because that is something which I use on all my phones so that is really cool you do have a lot of options here you can actually enable invert colors a lot of stuff normal um, Marshmallow ROMs do not have all these options. It does it only I guess has a uh, broadcast style extra So that is it uh, you have NFC sync on off GPS selection immersive mode all of that can be enabled disabled from here That is really cool in the quick pull down option. You do have a few options here. Uh, no clear no uh, notification It will actually have a quick pull down uh, no notification uh, always from left right drag all of that can be enabled haptic feedback when you click on the no quick, uh, quick setting icon hide labels uh, convert dual tile to single that means it will have no dual tile option there so that is really cool scale you can actually uh, enlarge and uh, get stuff smaller according to your preferences if you want smaller icons I personally like smaller icons so that's why I keep something like this so you can actually have that or actually enable uh, enlarge them for older people or someone who would like to have something like that so that's really cool you can also hide the brightness slider on the quick setting panel so that you can have more real estate for your settings icon wide um, wider landscape notification panel you can have that also so yeah that is also pretty awesome let's go to the lock screen options in the lock screen option you can actually customize what all stuff appears in the lock screen like uh, the uh, voice icon or the camera icon you can actually customize them it is really useful it's really awesome so you can actually do that you can even set a, a custom shortcut of any custom application or something like that you can also use black and white icons there uh, all that pretty nice you can also have the opacity of the lock screen if security input if you have something uh, well if you are enabling a pin unlock or a pattern unlock you can actually enable or disable the notifications on the lock screen so that is really cool disable album album or quick pin unlock something which I really appreciate uh, disable power menu if secure if you have a pin or something enabled double tap or anywhere on the lock screen to sleep um, status bar clock the clock uh, will be displayed in the status bar and you can hide all of these elements so that is pretty nice now it also has an in-call in -call blocker which is basically a call blocker application while you are inside so that is really cool you do have that you can actually use that and get some stuff done 
smart radio you can actually enable smart radio with, which well as the description shows the system will alone will keep the radio in low power mode uh, when mobile modem is unused and applies for example when mobile data is off and connected to Wi-Fi so basically it switches between 3g and 2g as as you require them or as you set them to be so that is really cool smart timeout if you are staring at it so that is actually a feature which was introduced on the s3 and it is now available here so that is something really cool i'm not really sure if it uses a camera or the uh or, or the other sensors to actually select the um to understand if you are looking at the phone or not so that's really cool immersive mode will enable disable the uh you can actually enable disable the status bar and stuff like that so you can actually enable the stat uh the immersive mode so that is pretty nice animation speed you can also customize the animation speed here so window animation scale can be in, uh, increased or decreased so a decreased value will make it appear as if the uh, phone is functioning faster so that's really cool in the status bar options you do have a few options like sleep button you can actually enable disable sleep button on the uh, heads up notification which comes up you can actually snooze it and it will come up on a later time clear on notification buttons on the status bar you can also enable that if you are someone who wants to use it uh, clock uh, center clock you can also enable center clock something which I really appreciate uh, small big AM PM indicator battery style you can also have text only circular or whatever you want so that's really cool and all of these elements can be hidden you can also hide the clock hide hide the USB debug option when you're connecting it to a device uh, Bluetooth do not disturb all of these can be disabled so that is pretty awesome navigation bar option you can actually change the size of the navigation bar which is really cool as I, as I've just done you have just uh, decrease the size of the navigation op uh, bar so you can actually do that and pretty nice uh, soft key fade mode so in if enable that if after about five seconds I guess this will change to uh, dots rather than these icons so that is really cool long press uh, back to kill a user app long press uh, recent to go to last task that is something which i use every time because this works and i really really like to uh, browse and chat at the same time so that's really nice uh, force uh, show menu button you can actually enable the menu button though it doesn't do much but uh, it can be used there so yeah swipe to sleep this is something i really really like because you can actually swipe the nav bar and actually get the phone to sleep i actually use this this option on my Z3 with the other ROM existence ROM so uh, that is something which I'm accustomed to and it is really cool it also has the cursor control which will give you arrows on both sides to actually control the cursor when you're typing so that's really really nice so here is the boot animation which is pretty awesome so yeah I guess that should do it so in the extra settings menu you do have a few options like battery saver options which will which if you enable it will actually enable the uh, lollipop uh, battery saver options so these are still available in marshmallow ROMs and so that's really cool uh, LED control you do have a LED enabled in this one so you do have charging LED uh, pulse all of that can be enabled disabled and the color also can be customized so that is pretty nice to have so yeah app ops is also there uh, notification control the notification control you can actually have expanded all all of these options are available with the heads up heads up timeout option also so that is pretty awesome Miscellaneous settings in the miscellaneous settings you do have a few options like uh, uh, reboot entry in uh, power menu you can actually enable that uh, without that the only option is the power off button you can actually enable that volume wave controls volume music control volume cursor controls cursor control can be inverted also so you can actually enable that upside down rotation uh, NFC sound all of that can be enabled and it and it even has a multi window option which actually gives you a multi window uh, style of thing here so that is pretty awesome so pretty nice so yeah that is it in the settings menu as a whole uh, other stuff does include uh, normal stuff which you would find in any other marshmallow rom so that is just it now i was not able to get the antutu benchmark score out of this one because i kept crashing uh, the score which i received without the 3g uh, through without the 3d scores is about uh, 19000 which should give you an indicative score of maybe about 30000 so that is it uh, it is not a performance rom by any means so that should no, uh, come as no surprise to a lot of people so yeah just in case you were wondering so yeah uh, other all the other marshmallow stuff are still enabled you can actually enable the uh, tap on stuff so that should work it does work and uh, i 
really really appreciate the tap on uh, features of the marshmallow rom uh, it is still in its prime it's not in at its prime in any stretch of the word uh, it does require a lot of stuff uh, still and yeah I guess it will work in the future so that is totally cool let me show you guys the boot animation which is pretty nice also so here is the boot animation which is a standard marshmallow boot animation and it is really really smooth so yeah i hope you can see how smooth that is so yeah pretty cool so i guess that much is it about the rom now this rom is in my opinion the most stable full featured rom marshmallow rom available for nexus 5 as of right now so that is something which i am positive about because I have actually uh, looked into a lot of uh, marshmallow ROMs so yeah that is something which I wanted to talk about so I guess I'm interested about the ROM hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye